What's up, brothers and sisters? It's your brother, G World 7 Space D. Haven't done no recording in a while, man. Because I've been busy doing my reading research and some other stuff. My family business and family info. Um, but um, I like to make a quick documentary about the whole Haitian situation. Um, you know, it's, it's sad to see that, but I, I'm not going to sit there and say I'm really going to be feeling sorry for some of these foreign-born blacks, man, because they come over here, they're extremely disrespectful and ignorant towards black Americans. It doesn't apply to all of them, but it's applied to many of them. They come here, and they're very disrespectful to black Americans. They come into our space. Some of them even get, quote, scholarships that are really designed or structured for black Americans, but they end up getting it. And they want to look down on us while they're fleeing their countries of origin. You know, then they want to come over here and wave their flag. You know, you're so proud of your country, why don't you keep your little black asses over at your country and build those countries up? No, you come over here, they want to belittle us, dog us, but then reap the benefit off of us. And then you want to appropriate our culture you want to claim that you created our culture that's why i do not like when a lot of these caribbean blacks claim that they started hip-hop which they didn't um but yeah some latino blacks claim they started hip-hop which they didn't and then you know and everything that we have you get a lot of um these um some of these pan-africans man who who want to um, give credit to everything african well not all black people are african man you know, I I had an altercation with this Negro BG, BGS, I B Moore, well, I think that's his name is. That's an idiot dude. And he comes across trying to act like he knows a lot, quoting a lot of books or Eastern European writers. But he shows how ignorant he is when he questioned my, what college I attended. I, I have several degrees. But, you know, but that's just someone with their head stuck up their ass. And he was extremely ignorant. They had one of them guys in there claiming that he did his DNA. He's 100% African, dummy. And if you're American, most black Americans are descended from the aboriginal blacks who were here. And black Europeans. And some black Asian, black Pacific Islanders and all that stuff. But we mostly are the aboriginal blacks that were here. And the numerous different tribes that were here. The mound building culture. Um, and the pyramid building culture. But this idiot going to go on and attack me and it was another brother I think in his room said yo brother he you know the brother's telling the truth that we are indigenous and aboriginal to this planet but unfortunately many idiots like him with their little college degrees you sound like an idiot you might have went to an Ivy League school or maybe just the university one of those big 10 schools where they really indoctrinate these Negroes with a bunch of lies teaching them to basically worship their oppressor and hate themselves, and not truly doing the research and studying your history. I tell a lot of these Negroes when I get online, man, I, I've been studying this stuff for years, and I'm, and I'm still at a young age, man, but I've been studying stuff for years. And I know that melanated people, when I mean melanated, I mean so-called black people. I'm not including, you know, um, amalgamated people like these Latinos, or non-black Latinos, or uh, these, um, these mixed Indians. I'm talking about aboriginal, so-called blacks. That's what I mean by uh, melanated, like in the Melanesian Islands, the black islands. We are indigenous people of this planet, but when we continue to have individuals who try to push this narrative that we all come from Africa, that we all descendants of African slaves, that all the people over here came from West Africa, that was just a way for white writers and historians to create a narrative to explain away all the aboriginal black population that were already here. You know, and, and you know, it, it's so sad because these white folks knew that the black people were here because they seen black people ruling Europe. You know, that's another thing. You know, but it, it is it's really dumbfounding that you have many of our people still who still believe and we try to tell them anything that we're just African. That's extremely ignorant, man. It's too much information out here now that lets you know 
and it talks about who we are and what we really are. And I think that we as Aboriginal Black Americans, some of you call yourself Foundation of Black Americans, fine. Don't call yourself no damn ADOS. You're not descending no damn slaves. You have a history way here, way before slavery even existed amongst our people of our skin tone. So, but we've been here. We we built this country, you know, from its origins to what it is today. We are this country. We are the blood of this country. You know, and, and anyone try to tell you anything else, man, they're lying to you. And they are an enemy. I do not believe a lot of these foreign blacks need to be writing that history either. Because a lot of them are in that Pan-African stuff, and they're talking that back to Africa stuff. No. Like that um, guy, um, Garfield, the little midget from Jamaica, he has no business speaking in our history. He's Jamaican. He's not, he's not one of us, man. And I'm going to be very clear on this. He has no business speaking on a history. He's extremely ignorant and disrespectful, and he's a little midget. He needs to keep his mouth shut. But when it comes to our history, we're the only ones who can really interpret and write our history because we know who we are. The Angel Ramirez Jordan character who, who sits up there and he claims to love uh, black women, but he, he made a, you know, sort of like a disrespect to black American women when he's... When you're going to try to sit and say that we're not Aboriginal, that we're African, he try to mess on black Americans calling themselves Aboriginal, and he will delete your post if you go try to respond to that idiot. He's not one of us. I think he's Puerto Rican and Jamaican. These idiots do not need to be speaking on black American affairs. They're not of our bloodline. They're not of the indigenous Aboriginal tribes of America. They cannot speak in our history. Right, and and we gotta basically, we not only we should be talking about um, these other groups who are appropriating our culture. We need to talk about people who have our skin tone who are appropriating our culture. You know, you got a lot of these Negro YouTubers who say we all come from West Africa. We're not bad too, man. We don't even look like them. Now, there's, there's a few of them that may look like us over there because many of them probably originated over here when a lot of the black empires are being burned down and being destroyed by the mongoloid people slash white people slash sellout blacks many of them black people fled and spread all over the place and some of them uh, fled over to africa some of them as far as asia so we our imprint has been all over the globe all over the world but you can't sit up there and look at so-called blackness from one scope and in just one location we were all over the globe if you look at a lot of those images of those uh, nobility, the, the rulers in Europe, a lot of them had a, an orb in their hand. And that orb was at like, a, like a little round ball. Like you get a little sponge ball when you play. When you're taking a bath as a kid, you're holding a little sponge ball. But they'd be holding an orb. The orb represents a oh, cross on top. The orb represents the rulership of the world. All right? And then you look at some of the Egyptian pharaohs. They had two of them. They represent both sides of the world. Not only what we now call Africa, but rulerships in America. Remember, the, the oldest pyramids in the world are in the Americas. And the oldest mummies in the world are in the Americas. The, the American civilization, that technology, originated here and then went over to Africa. So they took that technology and they built that technology, what was done over here, over in Africa. It started here. But it was a connection between the, the Aboriginal black people here, Europe, Africa, Asia, and obviously the Pacific. We had a global network. We weren't just confined to so-called Africa and to sit there and say, oh, African Americans are West African. Number one, we're not. No, we're not, we're not West African, and we're not African American. Hey, we many of us look closer to Central and Southern Africans and East Africans than we do West Africans. But. Unfortunately, some of my people do not read and do real research, and that's that IG BMS idiot. That's how he is. He, I guess he claimed to be so-called educated, but he really is a dumbass, an educated so-called, educated fool. Not so-called, he is a fool, and he's extremely ignorant, man. And I can read his game. So, um, I want to say that um, about the Haitian situation is that, you know, I, I hate to see images like that happen to black people but 
Many of them come over here and they have no respect for us, man. They come over here, they attend our universities, man. Howard University, damn near immigrant university now. They attend our university, they're very disrespectful. I remember attending some of these class, uh, when I, when I went to college I went to, you had a lot of immigrants going there and, man, some of them teachers you can even understand. But, they come over here, they have a nasty attitude, they, they try to look down, I don't know why they try to look down on you, but they claim they want to look down on black people, black people here, because white people don't pump their head up, man, and I'm not for that, bro, and for a lot of these Haitians, man, you know, I, like I said, I'm not happy to see that, but hell, man, you know, they're not, um, they distance themselves from us when they come over here, so I, I'm not really crying over that, man. Because a lot of them link themselves with them damn Latinos. Them non-black Latinos. And then some of these black Latinos you can't even trust, man. Because they, they, they're like um, how water flows up and down and movement of the water. That's how they uh, sit up there seeing the flow when it comes to one minute they're black. and say they're black. And next minute they're um, you know, Latino. And then they'll, they'll talk about those white Latinos amongst us. But when it gets amongst the white Latinos, they start talking about us. They cannot be trusted. Them Latinos, them black Latinos, I'm sorry, but they can't be trusted. You know, because their 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 mindset is that they just want to be accepted by their white daddy and mommy in those countries, man. And I don't trust them. I really don't trust them. You know. Because I can remember looking at one YouTuber where these these so called Afro Latino Puerto Ricans are talking about how black and everything how they get discriminated against. But then when black people was called out Jennifer Lopez, he made a little I guess a YouTube video dissing black Americans and why are you tripping on Jennifer Lopez but then blocked any comments for coming in there. No nah, man, we no, nah, that's not cool, dude. But that just tells me that they they uh, they they waffle on issues, man. That that is not cool. And to me we have no friends. That's even amongst some of these so-called other black people. They cannot be trusted. So, Aboriginal black people must love each other first. Like I said, I, I, I got respect for brothers and sisters around the world who I can link a bond with, who can, we can have a form of um, uh, alliance with. But some of these Negroes, man, especially over here in America, I want nothing to do with you. You benefited off of what we fought for and what we built here. This is our stuff. It's our culture. It's not African culture. It's Aboriginal black American culture. And guess what? We're going to kick white folks out. We're going to kick your black black asses out too. Because this is ours. A lot of you immigrant blacks, man, you need to start respecting who the hell we are and what we've done. This is our history and culture. That Pan-African stuff, man, it's dumb, most most black people. And most of these Negroes who go on, you see these YouTubers, man, preaching this old Pan-African stuff. Man, most black Americans don't want to hear that mess, man. Hey, man, we're not even down with that stupid Pan-African stuff no more. Because we're not African. We are indigenous, aboriginal, black Americans, and we're embracing our history of who we are. And reclaiming our history. Many of you immigrant blacks have been used to be buffers, to be basically... Interference on what we want. You're against reparations because you know your ass ain't gonna get anything. You you're um, you're against you're against certain things that I guess like um, ending like but we we as black people should not pay taxes. You're against that. You're against uh, some of these black holidays or so-called black holidays like Juneteenth or Black History Month. You want to get rid of that. Some of you want to get rid of that. You can go to hell, man. This is our country. Your people fled your countries. Well, you failed in your damn countries. You coming over here. This is our country, damn it. And this doesn't apply to all, man. But the ones who come over here being disrespectful to us. And you coming to our space. And making money. In our space. Well, most, most of you not even making no money. Most of those immigrant blacks don't even have no money. But you come over here and you want to disrespect us in our space. No, no, you get no respect from me. No respect from me. So, you know, where is the black caucus on this issue regarding with the Haitians? Um, they all of a sudden now they're going to speak out now at the people that are blasting ass. Where are these black celebrities at? D.L. Hughley, 
uh, three hood rats from the Midwest, Selena Johnson, who's from the Chicagoland area, I want to say Harvey or Dalton, South Suburbs, um, uh, Lisa Ray, South Side of Chicago, Far South Side of Chicago, South Suburbs, and um, uh, Vivica Fox, who's from Indianapolis, and then the little mutt, uh, Claudia Jordan, where they attack Ice Cube, man. Come on, man. But yet, telling you to go vote for Biden. Where these Negroes at now, huh? Simone Sanders. Where they at now? Uh, the, the little the little Puerto Rican chick who's really a number of light-skinned Negro, uh, uh, Ocasio-Cortez. And they, like I said, these, these Latinos are like water. How water, the vibration of water, how water uh, moves and floats and changes from different directions, how it bounces up and down. That's how these Latinos are, man. These black Latinos are, man. Like like I said earlier, black one minute, and then uh, Latino the next. When you know, being a so-called Latino isn't a damn race, man. You know, but these Negroes, man. Oh, we have a triple heritage. No, you don't. You have Aboriginal black history. You have black European history. Then you had those those other Latinos who are descended from the white Germanic tribes. That's what they are. So, I wanted make this note to aboriginal black americans you think about yourself first now any black person who's talking about pan-africanism and talking about going all over the world and talking about moving to africa and leaving america and america's not our home you are a sellout <laughs> that's a sellout if they're not talking about building here first in our land you are a sellout so, you know, I want to say that, and I want brothers and sisters to do more reading and research, and don't listen to these idiots, man, like that BGMS or IB more, whatever that idiot name is, the guy's an idiot, man, and he proved he's an idiot, man, he's a complete dumbass, he doesn't know history like he thinks, running his mouth, talking about, you know, black Americans are just from West Africa, he trashes Dan Calloway, I mean, the guy's an idiot, man. The guy has done no really real research. He's going by what his white teachers or some Negro teacher who was educated by some white person has programmed him to say. So he just memorized with some mess that he read in the book and all that information is wrong. He's an idiot, man. And there's so many of these idiots who claim to be educated with degrees or with their multiple degrees and they just show how stupid and ignorant they are talking on... Um, YouTube bragging talking about his son doesn't date black women no more that his son don't fool with black women now here you are as an older black man you an idiot saying that your son don't date black women but this is a complete jackass man young brothers don't need to listen to that man don't listen to that you sound like an idiot baby boomer and not all brothers and sisters from that generation of sellouts but he sound like one of them sellout baby boomers whose main goal is to be integrated next to white people or best, his ultimate goal is to have the opportunity to marry a white woman or a non-black woman and have babies by them and, you know, cohabitate with them and marry them and have children by them. This is a sick, sell-out Negro, man. But we have plenty of people of that generation who has sold us out, man. So, I haven't been online that much or on YouTube doing videos. I'm going to do more and more from time to time. But like I said, I'm doing my reading, my researching, and I told him, man, that idiot, they have educators in my family, man. And I've been studying this stuff for years. When his dumb ass was just sitting up there, he plays some Star Wars music, man. <laughs> and then he gets these, a lot of these younger cats to listen to what he, he's saying, man. Or to believe in what he's saying, because a lot of them are naive, man. They're looking for answers, but listen to that dude, man, he's ignorant, man. And there's a lot of dudes like it who are very ignorant, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, who are very ignorant, man, who are extremely ignorant.